Later, the dear Quebec singer, actor and comedian Jean Lapointe, who was appointed to the Senate at the age of 86. On his basic Friday, he announced his from health complications at a Montreal palliative care house surrounded by your loved ones. Born in Price, a village in the Lower St. Lawrence area, Lapointe began his career as a young at the Quebec City radio station. In 1955, he founded Gerolas with Jérôme LeMay. Popular double mixed music, humor and imitations led him to performance in 1963 at the Ed Sullivan Show and the famous Olympia. In Paris, in 1974, Gerolas began La Pointe and Le May solo careers. In the 1970s and 1980s, La Pointe succeeded in music on his own and brought together the Hitlari Chantate community, such as Chante La Ta Chanson, Two Jungles, Avec Ma Vie and C. In 1981, he won a Quebec Music Award Felix for the Concert of the Year. He was also a talented actor, and in 1966 he had a film career with LeMay, along with YUL 871, next to his other abuse. His role in the 2004 film Le Dernier Tunnel led to a Jin Award and a Jutra Award in the same year. In 2000, Quebec's Les Olivier Humor Awards Gala gave him a Tribute Award. In 2005, Just for Laughs was paid another tribute at the gala and marked his 50th anniversary at work. Jérôme LeMay, left and Jean Lapointe, on the right, 1955-1974 formed Gérolas. In 2001, Lapointe was elected to the Senate by former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien and in 2010 he was liberally until his retirement at the age of 75. In 1984, Lapointe received numerous praise throughout his life, including the Canadian Order, Quebec National Order in 2006. Lapointe fought alcoholism in the 1960s, but managed to be free and in 1982 he created a half-house for people dealing with alcoholism and drug addiction La Maison. Jean La Pointe. Last month, the Foundation and the Treatment Center celebrated its 40th anniversary. Our father is always the greatest pride in Maison Jean La Pointe, said Anne Elizabeth La Pointe, general manager of Treatment Center. It upsets us to leave but we know it will remain the spirit of our organization. Lapointe survived by his wife Mercedes and seven children, two grandchildren and two sisters. Losing our father is a terrible ordeal, but it is relaxing for us to know that the artistic and humanist heritage will live in the heart of Quebecers, his son Jean-Marie Lapointe said. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau made a statement that Lapointe's legacy would be remembered for generations and that Canadian art community, philanthropy and Canadians will be remembered for a former senator. Their performance was in front of their time, full of signature intelligence and benign humor.